Murmansk, the largest port in northern Russia. The transportation division of the Norilsk Nickel Mining and Metallurgical Company is located here on the shore of the ice-free Kola Bay. At its core is a transshipment terminal designed to service large tonnage seagoing vessels. There are two wharves at the first terminal site. The first wharf has been receiving Arctic Fleet ships since 2007. Construction of the second wharf was completed in December 2016. It was commissioned in March 2017. Now our terminal has noticeably increased the company's cargo handling capacity and the overall efficiency of its logistics. The second terminal site is designed to handle various cargo operations, including customs clearance. Cargos are received here, stored and sent to the end users 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Today, loading has been completed. The ship leaves the port of Murmansk and heads for the Arctic Ocean. This container ship is being sent to the Norilsk industrial region via the most difficult route in the world, the Northern Sea Route. This network of polar routes opens up access to Russia's Arctic territories, which were previously isolated from major land transportation arteries. Our country has been traveling these sea routes for many decades. And today, the company is continuing to work with the country to develop the Northern Sea Route. Nor Nickel set out to achieve transport independence and began construction of its own fleet in 2005. Reinforced ice-class vessels were designed and built at shipyards in Finland and Germany. The Russian flag was raised on the first ship built, the diesel-electric Norilsk Nickel, in April 2006. The company now has five container ships, a tanker and the diesel port icebreaker Dudinka. This fleet fully supports all of our company's transport operations. Our ships have been specially developed for navigation at polar latitudes. The combination of their navigational qualities, the experience of their captains and the navigational support service in ice-covered seas enables independent, year-round operation without icebreakers in the western section of the Northern Sea Route and independent navigation in the eastern sector of the Arctic for five months per year. The movement of a ship in clear water in any ocean is a romantic and beautiful thing. But movement in Arctic ice is a special art. Vast ice fields densely compacted by thick hummocks begin here. They are capable of trapping and stopping any ship. Then, technology comes to the aid of the crew. Our Arctic Expresses are known as double-action ships. The designers placed the electric engine and steering mechanism in a freely rotating gondola and gave the ship new capabilities. Using Azipod system propellers, good operability in open water and excellent ice-breaking characteristics when moving bow forward are complemented by the advantages of moving stern forward in packed ice. After overcoming another field of thick ice hummocks, the ship turns around again and continues on its route. The Nornickel transportation network was expanded to the far eastern ports of Russia, South Korea and China in 2010. First the Monchigorsk and then a year later the Zapolyarny hauled large loads of ferrous and precious metals to Busan and Shanghai, confirming the ability to independently deliver our products to the Asia-Pacific region. Data for comparing the advantages of using the Northern Sea Route and the traditional route through the Suez Canal were obtained from voyages to Southeast Asia. The company uses this information to develop efficient logistics systems. Meanwhile, our ship enters the mouth of the Yenisei River. It travels hundreds of kilometers farther into the continent via a special channel. 
The ice here is not a lifeless desert. People have lived along the shores of this great Siberian river for thousands of years, migrating, hunting, and herding reindeer. The huge container ship stops to offload cargo long awaited by the residents of the tundra. When the diesel electric ship reaches Dudinka, they are already waiting for us. Port icebreakers clear an approach channel and break the ice in the mooring area for the container ship. Docking for offloading and loading takes several days. And now, we're ready to sail again.